Yeah. So I don't need to do anything with them? Did you add them to our page? Oh, boy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, oh. <laughs> All right, we are live. Becky's on. Hi, Becky. Hello, hello. Let's see, who's over here on Facebook side? Dun, dun. So far on my side, only Becky was showing up on YouTube. So it I might see. be a one-person show today. Okay, today we are making homemade popsicles. You're in my bubble. Ow. What are you doing? He slits my knee. I'm sorry. <laughs> on your little shovel there. Well, that's because you are in my bubble. <laughs> if you're in my space. Do you want me to kiss it for you? Yeah, would you? Mm, kiss my boo-boo. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Everybody's here. Look at that. Sorry. Didn't mean to jam your leg into my trowel on my counter. That's <laughs> all right. So what are we making? I already announced it. Homemade popsicles. You weren't listening to me. I know. I was looking for a good cut point to start the show later, so. <laughs> okay. So we are making homemade popsicles today. And I forgot to print off the recipe, so I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> what do you want me to go get? The this really is a no-brainer recipe. I mean, seriously, people. Which one? Because there's 15 it's recipes easy. on here. So, um, I'm going to make strawberry banana popsicles. I'm going to make mango popsicles. I'm going to make strawberry and cream popsicles. I'm going to make fruit cocktail popsicles. And I'm going to make watermelon popsicles and... Fudge sickle popsicles and Ooh. jello popsicles. Yum. Jello. Oh, you're making fudge sickles? Yes. You didn't tell me that. I know. I would have announced it. Why don't you add that to the list of recipes? Because that one's in Dining on a Dime. So, oops, and I forgot my book. So, Dining on a Dime cookbook right oh. here. Heather Dwayne Batty is so excited for popsicles. Heather. Hi, Heather. Julie from Georgia, Amy, Mary, Nancy. Go okay, ahead. so these popsicle recipes are in Dining on a Dime cookbook. The fudge sickles are on page. Let's see, fudge sickles. Oh, I hope Mom got this fetched fixed. Mom, there's no fudge sickles. I hope you got that in the right place. So let's look under popsicles. Popsicle is trademark. Yes. Popsicle is trademarked? Apparently, Popsicle, Creamsicle, Fudge's Cola, and Yosicle, whatever that is, are registered trademarks. Oops. Well, what do you have to say now? Frozen food on a stick? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Okay. Page 373 is yogurt popsicles. And I'll have to find fudge sickles. It appears it is not in our index. Well, ain't that just a happy go lucky little thing there? Okay, fudge sickles. We're looking for them. So you show them, Jack, your. Oh, fudge sickles, page 373. Fudge sickles, page 373. Dining on a dime cookbook. Okay, go ahead, Jack. I was going to tell them something that I found out about. <laughs> okay, He's what back did you find out? <laughs> Andrea says we oh. should call them frozen lollies. Frozen lollies. Okay, today we're making frozen lollies. Okay. Whoa, frozen you can make it do something and it's not even nearby. And it can also do a backflip. <gasps> Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, which one should we start with? Oh, and then we have Pudding Pops on page 372. Pudding Pops, page 372. Crystal loves your cute ponytail. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I didn't have time to do my hair today. I've been working my tail off getting, let's see, I got some videos edited for my soap YouTube channel. I got my soap store pictures put up, stuff relisted, new stuff listed. So if you guys are wanting some soaps, go check it out. I got a citrus, a fresh citrus listed today. And unicorns are back. Right here, I'll talk more about it, but I got unicorns on there if you guys want them. Oh, okay. So, we'll talk about soap With in a little bit. With excellent photographer who? Doing the photos. Dave, my man. Ooh. All right, so, fudge sickles and popsicles. So, we're going to make, Mike has the link for this um, recipe. We're going to make the strawberry, 
I'm sharing the link. It's for 50 and super David, super easy homemade popsicle freezer. recipes here. And if you, um, if you don't find it here, it's also on the front page at livingonadime.com. Dun, dun. So I forgot an ingredient. <laughs> Fruit? <laughs> Just kidding. I forgot the juice. You need juice? Let's see, do we have any? I just realized, I just realized the top of these. Okay, let's see. I just realized the right here. I call and I it say, like Do you need bean. anything else? And I go to the store and I say, I got everything you asked for. Do you need anything else? Oops. Okay. And here when Tara's gone, Mike gets paranoid and spends like two hours going, Let's see, we got bananas, we got mangoes, we got strawberries. But see, it teaches people to make do. Now. Yeah. I am dairy free at the moment. Um, so you're making juice out of Kool Aid. So I'm gonna make. Uh, you put milk or yogurt in with your popsicles, like your strawberry popsicles or whatever, for your for for your frozen strawberries and cream, that kind of thing. I'm making just fruit popsicles, and um, so since I forgot the juice you could use pineapple juice orange juice um cherry juice whatever kind of juice you want to use i'm going to use cherry kool-aid does that sound good <laughs> it doesn't I'm just kidding it should sound good it's delicious okay so i'm going to take my cherry kool-aid and i'm going to make it up real quick here Can I help? yep pour that in <laughs> And then we're gonna pour oh. in some sugar. Oh my! Oh! <coughs> what happened? Oh no! What happened? Did it so, go up your nose? Please, yeah. I see. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's talking about, some people are saying in Maryland they wish it would clear up and not be so cold and rainy. <laughs> it's been 90 something degrees here today. Yeah, it's been the 90s. All right, so I got my cherry juice. I did this like half strength because I don't want it real, real strong. Okay. Now let me grab this other pouring one. Whoa, I wonder what 31, 31 degrees Celsius is. Well, that's like 100. Because Turid says we've had sun and hot since May 11th, never had 31 Celsius before. That is 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, Aww, in Norway. Oh, thanks. Did you find out how much it is? Okay, so. It's at 87. 87? Oh, okay. I was a little off. So I'm pouring my juice in. Now, this one I'm making is strawberry. Are you going to make uh, one that's... Kool-Aid sorbet. Do you want me to go down? Are you going to make one that's just cherry? No, I don't have any cherries. But this is just cherry. I know. So I'm going to add my strawberries and my bananas. Oh. Okay. You got the blender. Can you grab the blender right there? Stick blender. Yep. So if okay, so I'm going to do a couple of, of each of these different flavors, huh? Is it going to fly everywhere? Is it going to fly everywhere? Yes. Well, if you pull it out, it will. The water. All right, now get our lovely ripe banana in here. Oh, so banana and strawberry? Yeah. Man, bananas smell awesome. Okay, oops. Ellie wouldn't like it. <laughs> Tanya, hello, my favorite summer treat, but sometimes y'all take too long getting started. Oh, well, well we're just having a good time. That's just part of the live show. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What do I press? Press one of these. Turbo? Sure. We're just power. Go for it. <laughs> stop it. Lift it up. Put it down on the fruit. Go for it. Lift it. Put it down on the fruit. Put it down on the fruit. Wow, everyone's loving right here. Thanks, guys. Okay, get the rest of the fruit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now, did you get it all smushed? I think so. So now, oops, I forgot a 
bowl. Oh well. Okay, so then we're going to take our little popsicle things. And Mike has a link to Amazon if you can't find them locally. He has a link to Amazon. Oh, guess what? What? I didn't wash the popsicle oh, things. <gasps> Do you think we'll get poisoned? Good thing Bandana Grandma's oh, not checked uh -huh. in yet. What? Oh, What's wrong? Oh, you want to taste it? Yeah? <laughs> what is that? The strawberry Ooh. banana? It tastes good. That tastes good. Okay, that now pour good. some of this in here. Very good. It feels like there's some sort of invisible hand pushing me. Or is that just you, Mom? It's just me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to leave these two for strawberry mango. Can you go get me a couple of bowls? Please? Strawberry mango? Or, I mean, strawberry banana. Then we're going to put in... Oh, you want to put this in first? Can you go what get are we doing with this, Mom? We're going to save it. For what? Um, to make more popsicles, but... I don't have enough popsicle things to make all the flavors I'm making today. So, can you go give me a bowl? Okay, so that's strawberry banana. <laughs> what are you laughing Denise at? Denise says it's National Applesauce Cake Day. <laughs> oh man, we should have made applesauce cake. I have a recipe in Dining on a Dime. Mary Beth loves your apron. It looks so pretty. Thank you guys. Okay, so that is strawberry banana. So <laughs> now, hmm? What if we made a strawberry? What if we made a strawberry banana a banana dip? That would be yummy. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make a mango one. Rose is glad to see Jack helping. Rosemary. All right, now grab your grab your zapper. Zapper? Uh oh. Oops. Mm. Oh yeah, we need the other half, huh? <laughs> okay. much as possible. Perfect. Oh! <gasps> Woo! There was a giant mango that went in it. That's all right. Okay, so now we're going to put the tops on those. And then we'll just throw these in the freezer. Except it's not like that. <laughs> it's going to smush all over, huh? Okay, let me wipe up my mess. Great job, Jack. Thank <laughs> you. You should share this to the grocery group. Oh, I totally forgot. All right, now. Let's see, where's that? Uh, okay, here. so now we're going to sit these in the freezer and let them freeze. How long does it take to freeze them? That's a very good question. Overnight. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh, so we're going to have to show them on well, Monday? Why, um, <laughs> no, well, we can't. Why did I have... Um, completely um like not frozen popsicles when? like those ones that went in the freezer and took like a, two hours to freeze i don't know did they freeze in two hours okay go get me go get me a stack of bowls stack okay of bowls. yep so that's cherry mango now the next one i'm gonna do is fruit cocktail <gasps> jack's favorite should i just hear that you did just hear it. All right, now. This is super easy and super cheap. Um, just a second. So we need a thing like a microwave that freezes things really fast. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Joanne says those look very yummy. Okay, so now take a can of fruit cocktail. Yum. Pour it in. <laughs> juice and all. Put all the juice and everything. Okay? All of it? Oh, but yep. this one has olives. No. That's not olives. What are you <laughs> talking about? Pour it in. There's no olives. Pour it in. 
there's still some left in there. They look like olives on the video feed. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it did? Then I'm going to add just a tad more cherry juice. Put that in the trash, please. Now, this is fruit cocktail in its own pear juice, but you can use um, heavy syrup fruit cocktail if you want instead. Okay, here we go. Jade Beery says Jack will soon have his own cooking show. Mm. Would you have your own cooking show? Probably not. Would that be fun? Probably not. You don't want to do your own cooking show? You were cooking while mom was gone. Okay. Oh. Now. So are we doing? We're going to pour the Jack's favorite is fruit cocktail. So we will do, how many do we have left? Let's see. We have Jello, Fudge Sickle, and Watermelon. Okay, so we'll just do two of these. So apparently fudge fudge sickles fudge sickles and mm -hmm. popsicles are trademarked. Apparently. Okay, put the lids on those. Now I'm saving this extra goop and I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator and then it'll last like two weeks in the refrigerator, or ten days, two weeks in the refrigerator. And um, then if we need and then as we eat them, I'll just refill them. Okay. Gotta stand back for this one. Okay, so now for the watermelon one. Watermelon! Keep me clean. One, two, three. Stand back. Oh, man, I should have zoomed out for that one. What do you think? Did that work well? Can I do it again? I don't know if I can do it again. Stand back. One, two, three. Yeah. Ooh, I hit it right in the slice. And I can't believe I let you have a blade in your hand. Yeah, especially after what did I did today. She was doing her ASMR video and cut herself in the process. <laughs> so we're doing some relaxation and, oh my, that's quite a slice there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta tell you what I did to myself while I was shooting my first ASMR soap cutting video today. Pretty funny, actually. Jamie was not amused. <laughs> That you I cut yourself or that you were doing it some more? <laughs> that I cut myself. She says that I'm not allowed to have a knife without an adult in the room. <laughs> you are allowed. an adult. I think you shouldn't be allowed to have one with an adult in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now for the watermelon. Man, that all smells so good. I know, doesn't it? Jean's asking, did you really do an ASMR? I did. I put my first ASMR video up, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? But there's going to be seeds in this, Mom. Um, okay, so then I cut it up into chunks. Now, if there's a big seed, I'll cut it out. You know, I don't think they have bred watermelons so well now. I think this is the first watermelon seed I've seen forever. You just don't see them anymore. Wow. Wait, which, what did, which don't you see anymore? Watermelon seeds. Actually, when I got that watermelon today, the sign said seedless watermelons. And then I noticed there were two different kinds of things and one of them said seeded. And I was thinking, does that mean seeded like with seeds? Because it's under the seedless watermelon sign. So mm. in French it said, avec pep, how do you say it, pepin? Yeah. I saw it was with seeds. I'm like, oh, we don't want that one. Interesting. So it's okay. funny you said that because they still had them with seeds. So now we're going to zap the watermelon. Go what? for it. Well. Stacy says, I got on late. Where or how did you make the cherry juice? Okay, so as you can see, Watermelon has enough of its own um, juice that you don't need to add extra juice. The cherry juice is Kool-Aid because I sort of forgot my juice. <laughs> I was going to have Mike pick up pineapple juice and I forgot. Okay, so pour in our watermelon. That looks weird. Why? It's watermelon. So, no, that looks like it'll be awesome. So if a tomato is 
um, a fruit, does that make ketchup a smoothie? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark? Where's Seriously, that come, though. Who said that? Oh, I just saw a meme on Facebook. Just. <laughs> what? Do you, where, how are you seeing a meme on Facebook if because you're... Because I'm trying to find the live stream. Watching the comments on YouTube. Okay, so next we're going to have our fudge sickle. Okay, so we're going to pour in our watermelon there. <laughs> so, Mom, hmm? what does this thing on the top do? What does that thing on the top do? I have no idea. It's a new blender. It must go, oh, it's the power. Oh, wow, wow that's why, pretty cool. Why, why is it on the lowest? Um, because I didn't know that it could move. Should we test it and see what it does on the highest? On mm. the vegetables? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, MK Lone Star and I are talking about the heat in Texas. But Corpus Christi isn't as bad as Dallas, is it? <laughs> okay. So now we're going to take <laughs> and make the fudge sickles. Jamie said, I thought we had a good talk about knives earlier. Um. <laughs> Woo! Does that, that look good? Jenna says, I have pickle that juice popsicles in my freezer to help with leg cramps. Well, that's Never thought a good about idea. that. Okay. Do you want to see about the sure. power thing? Change the power. Let's see what it does. Ooh. Ooh. It's suction to the bottom. <laughs> okay, go. Hot, what should the power be? Whatever. Jack, Janice says, before the live show today, I was watching the episode where you were making signs. You were so creative. I forgot which signs they were. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Which ones? There's one that said, um, caution, pan very hot. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, there's something, I can't remember the others. That's all I remember. <laughs> now, you can do this with homemade, um, Homemade, what do you call it? Pudding, also, if you want. Um, you could oh. add nuts, you could add coconut, you could add marshmallows, anything you want into that one. Okay, now, that is a lot. So, what we're going to do the one last right one with Jello. Oh, oh, Jello. Right here. Jello. Let's pour that out get that going okay so the next one if you don't have anything but you have some jello you can make popsicles out of jello now so Andrew was asking me if I'd ever had jello ones and I don't know have I uh, no you haven't is there something different about them than regular popsicles no but as they um, as they defrost for obvious reasons, they don't drip as much. Why not? Well, because Jello is. I know. I know. Oh. Uh, Jesse asked, how much milk did you put in for the fudge sickles? Was that a single pack or a double pack of the pudding? It was a single pack. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed some of the questions. I realized my chat on YouTube was top chat. If it says top chat, you want to change it to live chat if you want to see everything. Okay, so I forgot to boil my water here, but I'll do it here real quick while we're getting questions, okay? So I answer questions while my water's boiling. <laughs> Wait, why are you boiling it when well, it's going to freeze? That's a very good question. Man, he's just so intelligent asking questions today, Dad. Because <laughs> yes, it dissolves the jello. Oh. And then you put cold water in it, it makes it cold, and then you put it in the popsicle. Oh. Uh, Brenda's asking, what is in the fudge popsicles? So, is that in that 15 popsicles what if I push post? The yeah, I the think it should be. Huh? What if I push the button with I'm going to share the, the post, but Tara's going to tell you in the book, too. Okay, so if you want to make totally homemade fudge sickles on page 373, it's right here. Basically, homemade fudge sickles are, Dave, you can come up, are um, 
homemade pudding and then you just take the pudding and put it in thank you in the um popsicle things and freeze them okay now this one um this one makes eight to ten fudge sickles so what happens is let's say you only have four thingamaboppers just make it and be careful you don't dump that all over please just make it, if there's a space. All the same technique. Um, oh yeah, if you only have like, let's say four popsicle things, then just eat the rest as pudding the first night. And then popsicles for desserts the other nights, okay? right here on the pudding pops one package of pudding three cups of milk that's all it is pour it in there if you want um if you want to do a quickie two ingredient store-bought one okay all right now popsicles what else can you do with popsicles you can um take jelly if you have jelly left in a jar and add some water or some juice and stir it up and pour those in popsicle molds you can use any fruits or vegetables that you want one thing i like to do that's a non-traditional popsicle but um i really like it is I take a can of fruit cocktail. Mom got this recipe like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I don't even know where she got it from. And uh, you pour in your fruit cocktail. Do you need the camera on that? If you want. And then you cut up a banana. You're gonna do that crazy slicing action you were doing earlier? I am. Okay, and then oh. you cut it up. Oops. It's not nearly as crazy as before. Cut up banana. Now I like to do quarters. You can do halves. You can just do slices, whatever you want. Except my quarters didn't work this time, so I'm just gonna do halves. Okay, and then just cut up some banana pieces. Like so. Mary Beth says, I'll bet your kitchen smells out of this world right now, and it does. Delicious. Now, this is fruit cocktail in its own juice. Now, I like this because when I'm on my low sugar diet, this is a good fruit that um, that is tasty, but it's one serving of fruit. Yes. Just love it. So I like to add some mango. I just am in a mango phase right now. I was wondering when you said mango. I thought, when do we ever eat mangoes? We don't. Well, you guys don't, but I eat them all the time. You just don't know it. See, the secret things I don't know about my wife. <laughs> See? Yep. What else don't you know about me? <laughs> that I, should be I, what you're questioning. I didn't know about your cute hair until I got home. Oh, <clears throat> thanks. Okay, now that's a little full, I will admit. But what you do is you take and all mix all this together, and then you spoon it in little cups or containers, just like this. And if you don't, what was that? If you don't have enough juice, you could add pineapple juice or orange juice to it. And then you freeze this. And then when you're ready to eat it, let it thaw for just a little bit and it makes like a really yummy fruit slushy. Or if you like it solid, you could put a popsicle stick in there and eat it solid if you want. But I eat it like a fruit slushy. And that is yummy in the freezer too. All right, here's our so water is boiled. Rachel wants to know how long are the popsicles good when they're frozen? Oh, they'll last three or four months. No, let me do Your mom it. said weeks. 
<laughs> but I can't understand why they wouldn't last months because they're yeah. frozen. No. I mean, well, they might get freezer burn, I guess. But. Um, it, Martha said I would like to know about the mixer. Is that the stick blender? Yeah. Do we have that on our... Yeah, we have that on our Amazon store. Okay, uh, we up. have it. We have it on our Amazon store, and I will share that right here, um, Martha, in the comments. And if you don't find it here, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes. Okay. Is it and dissolved? our recommended items yep. on Amazon is there, too. That is okay. a popular thing because it's pretty awesome. Now... Yeah. And then you're gonna take your Jello. The Jello one is still quite hot. That's all right. And you're gonna pour it in your popsicle molds. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just gonna take some. Which ones are you making now? Jello ones. Jello ones. And you guys could add real strawberries into this if you want. Puree real strawberries. Puree any fruit into it you want. Anything like that. You know, this and there are the variations of, I don't know, how many popsicles did we do? Eight different popsicles? No. So if more variations are, than I knew. If we made 12 popsicles, mm -hmm. and two of each flavor, mm -hmm. how many is that? Two, what's two divided by um, 12? Mm -hmm. What is two divided by 12? Six. You, yep. Very good. I was going to say, you just said the answer and you didn't know it. Oh. Wow. Sharon said they had mango trees in their yard growing up. Oh my. I can't imagine having a mango tree in my yard. So, so if you have them, if they're that common or easy for you to get, do you get tired of them after a while? Uh, oh, Michelle's asking where do you buy the molds to make the popsicles? Michael put a link there. Um, Let's see. Here. On Amazon for some. Alright, so... You can get the recipes at livingonadime.com. You can also get them in our Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. Woohoo! Dining on a Dime cookbook. And I will share the recipe link again to the post mm -hmm. at Living on a Dime. So while we're chit chatting, I'm going to cut some soap and we have packages to open. Yay! First of all, for those of you wondering, the unicorn soaps are back in stock and ready to ship. So if you wanted the unicorn soap and it got sold out, I have them back in stock. Is okay. That Israel? Yes. I love those unicorns. <gasps> Did my jacket come? Yes. <laughs> okay. So first of all, we got some packages. We're gonna order. We're, on here. we're gonna open first. We're gonna order. We're gonna open. So first one okay. is from Two Family Homestead. Woohoo! I hope I'm supposed to open this on air. I don't know. Well, so we'll see. There, you say, oh, no, not that. Oh, it's <laughs> my birthday. No, not Two family homestead. Oh, it's definitely not because it's stones. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Oh, that's a really cute one. And only for a dollar. Wow. Sherry. Take a picture, Joshua. Wait. Thank you. Oh. That is so cute. I am sorry. I feel like you already have that one. No, I don't have that one. Oh. She doesn't have I have one smaller ones, but I don't have one cutting the flowers. I thought you did. Oh. Mm. Oh, thank you. Let me see. Isn't that cute? Oh, yes. Oh, Tara loves Wait, those. What? And she's having to refresh them because her longtime collection is... Because I it's keep them in the garden. It's and getting worse for the weather wear. Yeah, yeah they're sometimes breaking. they're breaking. Constantly. Oh, mm. this one hangs on the side of a pot. How cute. Man, I guess, I didn't know there were so many gnomes out Oh, that one's cute too with the sunflower. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sherry, that is so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, what's that? What does it say? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> yep. Wow, this cuts clean through the... Water. Oh, man. Okay, I love them. Thank you so much. <laughs> man, I'm going to have to stick those up on my on my ledge over here. Curious Cat says, yay, packages and unicorns and popsicles trifecta. Here. <laughs> see, they'll go right here. I bet they can see them over here. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, probably not. You have to go to the left a little bit, I think. Oh, yeah, you would be able to. There! How cute! <laughs> Can I open up my... There, and I'll hang my other one. Is this from my, my birthday? my planter back there. Oh, thank you, Sherry! Yes, you can be dope. You can put it up. I don't know where to put them. Over there. Okay. So... Do you want to tell them that we I got my... this package from Israel from my friend Annika. So many packages. Woohoo! Annika! Annika mentioned that she was sending something. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, she's probably not on here because it's super, super late, the middle of the night at her house. I don't know. I forgot if she was on or not. LJ was asking people. how much milk did you use for the fudge sickles? Do you remember? Uh, three cups to one package of. Um, hey, hey, would you look at that? It's a newspaper. <gasps> oh, oh, I forgot. It's... This is what she was sending. Oh, oh hold oh, on. Wait. Is that? <gasps> wait, there's something inside. It. <gasps> oh no. Wait, wait. Maybe you should not peel it off. A moment. It's... Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, look at the look on Jack's face. <laughs> look what she that. painted just oh, for Jack, wow. for us. Wow. I that saw is that really, before. really I nice. It. it looked great when she sent us pictures of it, but it looks even that better in person. Maybe oh, that was, wow. We gotta have her do all the family portraits. Oh, wow. thank you. That is so awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Nice. It was dark on the pictures for some reason. You well, like just that? Because sometimes when you take a picture of a painting, it doesn't look like the real painting. Oh. That's really nice. Oh, Annika, wow. thank you. It probably doesn't look she had good several on camera. Off, she had several offers to buy it, and she said, nope. That's so oh, awesome. Man. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jack, oh, um, you should so see Jack's reaction. He just loves it. Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> Is that the same shirt? Put it on later. Here, yeah, it let's is. see. I'm not going to put it on now because it's, oh, it's super Jack hot. Oh, it's a sweater. Oh, it's black and red Man, sweater. Man, you should have kept it for my birthday, you know? Happy birthday, Could have packed it up and then be like, oh, hey, a sweater. Wait, is this still a sweater? <laughs> Some of you will get oh. it. Sure. Look at oh, that wow. hat. I don't that's, know who that's for. I'll have to I ask think, her who that's for. Didn't she do that like by hand? Yeah, oh, man. She, she made all of those by hand. Wow. One talented lady. Here, I'll show it for you seamstresses. Wow, I want to be careful with this painting. Look at that. She did all of that by hand. Isn't that crazy? Wow. You could that is for so you. pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm going to set it over here somewhere so it doesn't get damaged. Dates. Actually. She sent us some real Israeli dates. Oh my goodness, you see all the fun stuff she sent. What is this? Ugh. I think this is like Israeli Cheetos. <gasps> oh Whoa. my goodness. Oh. Wow. Look what she sent you guys. Probably That's a birthday definitely present. A care package. Whoa. Oh, Annika, thank you so much. That's interesting looking. It looks like a candy. It looks like a. A lollipop, but it's something else. Oh, cool. She sent us three of those. Wow. Oh, and Dave and Jack's favorite. <gasps> These are really These good. Oh, it looks great, Dave. Except Oh, no. What are you telling Monica? Thanks. Thanks well, for it, the candy oh, and the sweater. Nice. It does look great. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. Filling for cheesecake. Cake? Is that what it says? Oh, filling Yay. for cheesecake. Oh, yum. Thank you for writing that on there because a few things we weren't quite sure how to use them. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. Um, so we'll have to get her to translate it so that she can tell us how to make it. Well, BJ <laughs> found some place where he took a picture of the package and, and the, some website translated it for him. Oh, really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, wow. We could just use Google Translate. Well, we could learn Hebrew. That would be easier. And that too. Well, not easier. It would be... It'd be more permanent. It'd be more efficient. Oh my gosh, look at all these goodies yeah. she sent for you guys to try. Wow. Like marshmallows Wait. Wait, and a candy bar. Fit? I don't know. That looks I don't cool, know. Dude. It's good. Sorry, oh, I'm freaking out too Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, man. That was oh, a that's huge care package. Oh, wow. 
nice. Yeah, we got stuff for a ton of <laughs> Dave know. looks dapper in that sweater. Goes, oh, hi, Kyra. Here, you want to try the Israeli Cheetos? Dave, your new look sweater looks great. I don't know. I think it was last time, weren't those peanut butter things? Sandy says you look so handsome in those I colors, Dave. I thought those were peanut butter. Why don't I try one and see? Oh, I think they're peanut butter. Try one. See what you it think. It tasted good. Are they peanut butter? Mm. Oh, they are. I thought it's they like were. a peanut butter snack. Wow, everyone's loving your sweater, Dave. It's like a peanut butter cheeto. Oh, those are good. And, they, and Ellie I love and I the colors on you. Yeah. I don't really like you don't like you don't like the peanut butter flavor too much. That's okay. <laughs> Mom and Ellie will eat them. Actually, what's funny is a lot of people were, were laughing because they said Jack's wearing the same shirt as he had. He was. was I know. I know. That's funny. Here, should we try a date? A date? What? I think it's a date. Dates. They're. I forgot what. What are dates? They're little fruits. Oh, like it's like a fruit. Figs or plums or something, aren't they? Mm. Wow. Oh, that's good. Wow. I wonder if Jesus sat under this tree. <laughs> oh, they have a seed in them. They have a seed in them? Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yum. Mm. So I guess they just eat these like a snack. Yeah. Hmm. Did you see Raiders of the Lost Ark? No. Oh, okay. Well, I did. That was like 35 years ago. Oh, okay. For some reason. You're not it's... that old. What are you talking about? You no. must have been two. <laughs> hmm. For some reason, this tastes like a cherry with maple syrup inside. Yeah, kind of. Wrote. Kosher food trip book. Huh? That looks fun. <laughs> mm, I bet Ella Gosha would like to read this too. Wait, a kosher what? Food trip. Oh, that's cool. Ah, that's pretty nifty. Thank you. Wow, we'll have to read through that. Tasting Jerusalem, July 17th to August 12th. Wow, cool. That's that must neat. be an, that must be a really mm. yummy trip. Yeah, I would say so. Everyone's loving your sweater. I look grown up. Christine, they were dates. I just said figs to jackass. Other things that grow on trees. Fruit from a date palm. Hmm. Okay, so I have my gun soap back in stock, if you guys are wanting it. Back in stock for Father's Day. I have the upright guns, which I'm going to cut down. Then I have some flat guns still. Um... But that was a cool package. Oh my goodness. Poor Dave. He never hardly gets anything in the mail. So he This was... is probably the best thing I have gotten. Poor He's Dave. Like... He was super excited waiting for us. She told us that she was going to send a sweater because... Oh, it's, it's fine. Dave it's never longer. gets... Dave never... Dave never gets anything. Poor guy. Yeah. Well, I never asked for anything. I know. I mean... That's because I raised you to be a polite young man. <laughs> I never ask. I never want anything, really. I mean... You can also use the dates to make squares. Date squares, maybe? Oh, okay. Dates are great for sweetening other food and for smoothies. Yes, Ellen, you got it! What did she say? Uh, she said bad dates on, on Raiders of the Lost Ark. They were popping dates uh... in their mouths, and then, but some bad guy poisoned the dates. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good, Ellen. I appreciate that. Well, so I was making another ASMR video today, cutting a cutting soap. <laughs> and I sliced my thumb. <laughs> and did you say, oh, look at that lovely shade of red. Well, as it the soap. flows gently over the soap. <laughs> you didn't bleed on the soap, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> Annika Sacred Wonders Maine says, that's a wonderful box. You're a thoughtful lady and so talented, and it's true. Yes, Annika is <laughs> like our Jewish grandmother. <laughs> These smell so good. When we go to Ireland, are we going to see her? Mm, yeah, it does smell nice. I don't know. She said she has some friends in Ireland. And... Yeah. Or would she I don't know. So what are we? If we go to Ireland, what are we gonna do for a car? That's the only problem that I'm wondering about. You can rent a car. 
Yeah, for 300 bucks a week. No, not if it's a manual. Stick shift why isn't that much. Put it on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Hey, anybody got a car we could rent for a couple months? Just sitting in the back somewhere. Well, I mean, we, we could probably walk to town to get groceries, but if we want to go do anything, um, but yeah. Okay guys, so I have a tip for you real quick. Um, some of you may be a little OCD about this like I am. I hate having the tags on things. I absolutely hate having the tags on stuff. I don't know why. It's just an issue with me. So every time there's a tag on something, I either cut it off or pull, pick it off. Well, thankfully, I did not cut the tag off on my mattress because did you know that if you need to claim the warranty on your mattress, the tag has to be on there? What? Because it's a violation of federal law to cut the tag <laughs> off your mattress. <laughs> so we had to call in the warranty on our new mattress that's only two years old because it's already sinking in, which we're not real happy about. And um, it... It said on there that we had to have the tag on there if we wanted to claim the warranty. Hmm. So, just a little tip. If you're like me and you hate having the tag on stuff, leave it on your mattress and your couch and stuff because if you have a warranty issue, you'll need to um, have that on there to claim it. So, just a little FYI, FYI for anybody who's thinking about getting new furniture anytime soon. Oh, Curious Cat wants to know if anyone ever put mini marshmallows in the fudgesicles, did we? I haven't, but you can. Yeah, and almonds would be, oh, chopped almonds <gasps> to die for. <laughs> and going baddies asking everyone for their favorite flavor. By the way, they're on tonight. Um, Amy says cherry, going baddies says orange. Oh, s'moresicle. Oh, that would, that would be, be good. good. Watermelon and pineapple are tied, uh, wow. according to Amy. And of course, Tara already said this, but Jill's mentioning that you can use any fresh fruit you have. Yeah. Or um, fr fresh or canned fruit, she said. Yeah. Also, guys, I just wanted to tell you, um, we cannot always catch all the comments. And so we have moderators in there that are, are good friends and family members. And so sometimes if you post a question to us and we're not catching it, our friends and family will post the answer for you. Like my friend Jamie, um, she's really good at soaping. And so she will answer the questions for me occasionally. Uh, Mom will answer sometimes, that kind of thing. So just so you know, um, if we miss you, don't worry about it one of our friends or family will catch it if we don't so thank you yeah I grew my nails out specifically for this ASMR video and what do I do lop a hole in my thumb so GG I couldn't believe it oh it's Again. Ellie call and see what Ellie Jack see what Ellie needs make sure she's not broken down <laughs> um this is my citronella soap from the other day guys Loving it. Already got people ordering this one. Um, and loving it. If it's an emergency, Jack, we can talk to her, but otherwise. Well, Ramona says she can't stand tags on her clothes. Yeah, I can't either. Neither can Jack. It's kind of funny. Really? Yeah. I can stand them on like the neck thing, on like the back. Where it tells you, but if it's like the little tags that stick out of your arm or whatever, tell yeah. you the price, those are annoying. Yes. Look at that. This is the citronella. Time. Those poppy the seeds. Didn't the poppy seeds turn out pretty? Okay, so let's get these cut. Ellie wanted to know if David wanted to go see the movie with her. Oh, <laughs> what a movie are you going to go see? She was wanting us to go see Solo with her, and I thought I could lift my Star Wars ban for this movie. <laughs> her coworker said it was great, even though everyone on the internet says it's meh, so we'll Ooh, see. Oh, guys, look, look, look. What do you think? Smell that one. 
Man, that smells really good. Doesn't that smell good? And it's good? got poppy seeds in it. I, I love know. poppy seeds. Um, I should have done my multi-bar cutter with this one, but... <laughs> Not sure what to think about that. Jean says, man, I gotta watch the ASMR videos. I need a good chuckle. <laughs> What's funny is my soap people on my soap channel were actually disturbed by my no talking ASMR video. No talking. A they were like, I just don't know if I can handle Tara not talking. Oh, that is just strange. No, I miss you um, talking. You need to talk. <laughs> it was funny. Melinda wanted to know what was the scent of the gun soaps. Uh, that is black tie. Oh, it smells so good. Let me smell it again. But man, the citron look. It's very manly. Oh, it's good. Very manly. The man, the citronella one I like too. <laughs> Heather says that smells to keep the mosquitoes off, right? Yes. Does it the work? Citronella is to, yeah, the citronella is to keep the mosquitoes off. And the poppy seeds, it's my gardener's soap. The poppy seeds are exfoliating, so if you want to use it at the end of the day to get all that dirt off, you can. If you want to use it at the beginning of the day, then you get the citronella will keep the bugs off. Donna wants to know what ASMR is. So, it's this new sensation where people are relaxed by different sounds and that kind of thing. And they say that Bob Ross is the first ASMR guy. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I know. We're going to paint, paint some happy trees. Happy trees. <laughs> Man, I worked at PBS for 20 years. I saw a lot of Bob Ross. <laughs> so, um, and... So people do different things, like they tap stuff, they brush hair, they scratch backs, they do all kinds of stuff. Well, one niche of the ASMR is soap. Soap cutting, soap carving, and I... What? Make it quick. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, but I, uh, I started noticing the ASMR people saying, well, I want to know how to do that. I want to know how to um, make that soap. I want to know where to buy that soap. And I was thinking, well, I have all that for you. So what I thought I would do is make some ASMR videos to try and get new people into my YouTube channel another group so to speak two four six eight ten and um see if i can bring more people who like making soap and like smelly things and want to learn how to do it into my group so that's why i'm trying it out to see but the problem is today i was cutting the soap and i sliced my <laughs> so i was like Oh, well, that's very interesting. Hmm. So I don't think that they probably want to see my thumb bleeding, so I someone, stopped that video. <laughs> someone on YouTube wants to know what color nail polish you were wearing. A lot of people were asking about your nail polish and saying how much they loved it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So it's one what, of the comments I was going to get to. But... What color is it? I don't know. I got it from a company called Paula's Choice when they were making it. I don't know if you guys know who she was, but she was the cosmetics cop. And she had a, a nail polish line, and this was one of the colors. Unfortunately, she doesn't have that line anymore, um. and I really like her. But my nails were all lovely and beautiful, and I go and slice my thumb. Ugh. Dad. Yes? Ellie wants to know, so yes or no. Yeah, we can. Okay. How soon do we, do we need to be ready? She's home at around 6. Don't know when it's actually starting. Okay. That's fine. At least sending private messages <laughs> through the chat. <laughs> All right, so we had... Uh, let me see what other... Oh, Bandana Grandma, guess what? I didn't see she was on there. She just came on a little bit I'm ago. I'm so excited. Your guess... bathroom's looking nice. It is, but guess what? What? I'm sure the town of me did this just for our meetup. What? Guess what? is the day before our meetup. Garage sale weekend. What? <laughs> that is it's awesome. It's the me garage sales. Ah! Do you think the truck is big enough to hold everything? I don't know. 
Uh, okay, go ahead and tell them real quick. So, my birthday is in three days. Oh, I'm going to be so sad. My eight-year-old's leaving me. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. We are going to have a shiny new nine-year-old. I don't think the nine-year-old model is as good as the eight-year-old model. I'm sure. Do you Mom. think, Dad? <laughs> How do we know the nine-year-old model is going to be as good as the eight-year-old model? Well, because my friend the eight -year -old is eight-year-old model. Nine -year -old. It's good as the seven-year-old model. Oh, because we've already had two nine-year-olds. Two nine-year-olds. BJ and David. Oh, what about Ellie? Well, Ellie's a girl and not a boy. Oh, so. I see. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if our nine-year-old model's gonna be be as good kissable. I'm sure, or huggable. Do you want to go um, through a bunch of questions and comments? Real no, quick? I want to talk about the garage sale weekend. Oh, right. Okay. So we are having our meetup July first. Oh. And on June thirtieth. They're having the Mead Garage Sale Day. Jamie's Garage Sale Day. So come and buy stuff that our neighbors are getting rid of. Yes. <laughs> Jamie's Garage Sale Day is this weekend, so. Ooh, Jamie's is? Ooh, maybe uh, I should go check out Jamie's. Thank you, um, Amy and Bandana. So, guys, July 1st is our meetup here in Mead, Colorado. Come and see us if you can. And if you can't, we'll miss you. <laughs> But Bandana Grandma... She says, what, what? <laughs> Look at me. Bandana Grandma is coming all the way from Maryland to visit us, so we decided to do a meetup with her. You guys would love her. She says now she needs to pay for an extra suitcase for the yard sale. No, us. no, I'll drive it out to you. Actually, take the extra suitcase with you and don't check it and go all the way down to the <laughs> gate with it, and they'll say... This is a pretty full flight today, so if you haven't checked any bags, you can gate check it for free and we'll move you to the front of the line. I did. <laughs> like, sure. Every time we go through Denver, we Every do that. Every flight we've had so far. Of course, we'll tell her that and they won't do it. So, yes, Jack's birthday is Saturday and David's birthday is Monday. Guys, send David a thousand birthday cards. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nerve-wracking <laughs> if that he, actually happens. He got something in the mail today. Do you know what he got in his Oh, it was we the got the learners. sweater from Annika. Yeah. Oh, permit thingy. Oh, about. right. The driver's ed He got ed his stuff. driver's I have to study 30 stuff. hours in overall, and so that's gonna mean. Well, I definitely can't get my learners permit on my birthday because that's I have to do like four hours a day studying if I do that. <laughs> I don't want to spend that long studying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Banana Grandma wants to know: Are Mike's music videos ASMR? They could. Yeah, be. they could be. And actually, we were talking about, yeah. I've just been kind of busy doing so many things, but Tar and I were talking the other day that I should add the ones that aren't there on, and some of the ones that are there that weren't quite done, I should do those. So we were thinking about re reviving that project. So, because yeah. I still have probably five or six of them that I never even put on that. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Jamie Shaw said, I mean, yeah, said that we should call it a meetup. <laughs> it's a meetup. <laughs> the get together. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. ASMR is supposed to be like relaxation type videos, but they're specifically like tapping and I don't know. I'm surprised tapping. That we think that would annoy people to have tapping. Dry re nut. No, like tapping and scratching and like. Yeah, that would all drive mom crazy. And like whispering. And there's actually a thing called lip smacking. I could see whispering. That would be interesting. Because it's like when Here. you talk and then... Let me practice. Okay. Hello. That's not ASMR. Today, we are making soap. You mostly want to do whispering. <laughs> Today, we are blending our soap. You're doing it wrong. Hello, everyone. I think <laughs> I forgot my fragrance. You're doing it wrong. You gotta whisper. Uh, I just shared whisper. the thing for the get-together. What are we not calling in meetup? The Living on a Dime get-together. Mm -hmm. uh, I just shared a link for it. If you're in Colorado or near Colorado or you want to come to Colorado from the far edges of the earth, mm -hmm. we're going to be having a meetup in Colorado Ooh. on July 1st. I just shared the link. Cheryl, you could put bananas in your fudgesicles and that would be chocolate dipped bananas. Oh my goodness, that would be delicious. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yum. Well, and going bad, he said fudgesicles with frozen treats like M&M's and Snickers oh, and Twix and Oreos. Yum. That would be good. Um, uh, 
Let's see, that was about your, Lisa had asked a couple times about your nail polish. She loves the color. You don't know what color it is? I'm sorry, it's not even available for sale anymore, so. Patty said, Jello sickles are awesome. Mom, my mom made them all the time when I was little. Yeah. Let's see if we answered that. Uh, didn't you do, did you explain this already or no? Janice says, you can run fruit cocktail mixer juice and all mm -hmm. through the blender. Yeah, that's what I do, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always loved the fruit cocktail in those little cans. I don't know why, but from yeah. being a kid, it was... You can also put them <clears> in... <throat> oh, yeah. Do they even make those anymore? The little canned fruit cocktail? I don't know. No, because they're in the plastic containers now. It's not the same without popping open the top, the can pop. Yeah. Top. Um, the, you can also put them in Dixie cups with um, popsicle sticks. But here's the thing, guys. If you don't have popsicle sticks, use spoons. Just put spoons in there. And then you don't have to buy popsicle sticks. Uh, Katsura, I'm not sure what you're asking. How do you keep your cover on your MacBook Pro? Mine never fits and falls off. Drives me batty. Huh? We have, you mean the, the keyboard cover? I don't know. Mine Because we just have stays. one that fits really nice. Um, we don't have a screen cover, but some people do. Yeah, I don't uh, know. <laughs> Charlene loves the happy little, happy little trees. <laughs> I think that was the Bob Ross reference. Mm hmm Emirates said... I loved Bob. Yay soap. I saw your video doing four hot presses at the same time. Tara, you're great. I remember that day. That was wild. And Cassidy was making the beef stroganoff tonight with deer. She said, my two-year-old... We, we haven't really had deer, but, but I know a lot of people love it. She said, my two-year-old was laughing at Jack earlier. She said he was funny. Jack? What? There was a two-year-old girl watching earlier, and she thought you were funny on the show. <laughs> um, and Sharon said that they never did get tired of eating the... Uh, Mangoes? Mangoes from their trees. She, mm. it, she said we also had avocado trees in lines. <gasps> oh, where Jill, does she California, live? California, I think. Oh, never mind. You're, I, Jill said that yeah. she, when she lived in California, she loved the avocado trees. I was thinking, wow. Yeah. Uh, never oh. mind. I have no desire to move to California. Oh, and <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mandy said pineapple and coconut milk <coughs> pina colada popsicles. Oh, yeah. Have you actually made them? Because I know yes. Tara would love them. I love those. <clears throat> That's my favorite combination is the pina colada. Uh, oh, Marion said, I love the live shows. Thank you. Yeah, the kids have been out of school for two weeks now. Yeah. Some places the kids aren't still out of school. I know. Um, yeah. Cool. Let's see if there's anything else over here. That's the list I had made earlier. Whoever was asking about the debt question, you can ask me live or you can email me, editor at livingonadime.com. I think she tried to type it in, but ended up, I gave her the email address, so. Oh, okay. Paige! I'm so sorry we didn't get to see you, Paige. Yeah. It was crazy it and was, wild. It was insane. We were so exhausted. I kid you not. When Everything... we were in, this is when we were in Kansas, guys. Everything we did to help my brother, we and my mom, we had to redo three to five times each. I'm not kidding. I worked probably three hours trying to unclog mom's gutters on her house. My brother's towel rods had to put them up four times total. The microwave, couldn't get the microwave up. It was, the sink, had put it in, pull it out, put it in, pull it, it was a mess. We did not have hardly two seconds to think. So I am so sorry. <gasps> oh, they're protected by gnomes. How do you get it to stay? It's just a sticker. I don't know. Where's the edge of it? It's it, just, it's, each letter is its own sticker. Oh, it's individual letters. Yeah. Oh, what about this one? Oh, this is a like tape. Sticker. Yeah. It was a bumper sticker. Oh, it was like all on a paper and you stick yeah. it on there and then peel it off? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, don't peel it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize that's the so one you every meant. Every single letter is a different sticker. So, yeah. Hmm. <gasps> Genesis Canada kids are still in school. Oh, poor things. <laughs> but then they go to school August 15th. So they've been out two weeks, but then they go to school August 15th. So. Hey, I don't. Except yeah. for Dave. Well, you will go to school. You just won't go to school. I will go to school, just not try. Oh, I'm so excited. School. David got... Can we show them? Go to my email. Okay, so I gotta show you. I'm so excited. What? I hope they can see it. Go to Mom Soap Making Supplies. Click on that picture. Hold that up and see if they can show it. We got the header or something. I oh, don't know. Something super, or another made. It's really super small. Yeah, for I know. My, it's because um, Mom messed up and she thought... We got something, something made. Like well, just hold that up to the camera and see if they can see it. Is there anything so just, on there we shouldn't be seeing? No. Just zoom it out a little no. bit so it looks slightly sharper. Than... We can't zoom on here, but here, we'll do this. 
see? It's really small, sorry for that. I didn't know, Mom, yeah. Can you see it on there? Yeah, you can. Okay, but good. I had to extend over the picture. So, it's an old-fashioned bucket. bucket with a thing of soap. And I really love the old-fashioned look, but I, I don't know if that's going to work for soap supplies or not. I'm going to expand mm. it when you... I really like... I really like how it turned out, but I'm trying to get my soap supply store open by <clears> July 1st. I hope I can get it open by July 1st, so. Aww. Uh, Jack Bev says, happy birthday, Jack. Have a great day. I forgot. Are we not having a show before the birthdays? Nope. Well, what about Dave's birthday is on a show day? So, maybe Wait, since we're not going to be here Dave's Saturday. Birthday Monday? Dave's is Monday. Okay, since we're not going to be here. Lots of people saying happy Saturday, birthday, Jack. Since we're not going to be here Saturday, why won't we be, we be here Saturday? We'll be here. The show just, there's not the a show, show day. Oh. Wait, do you want to well, use the candle? Can we do a show? Can we do a show? You want to do a show on your birthday? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a show <laughs> on your birthday. Like a short show, right? A Here's yeah. Jack's birthday yeah. show? Yeah. That'll be awesome. We can do that. June 30th? Have school, mercy, like, half the summer's over by then. The go to the first week of September. Now, it's funny because when we were in school, we got out on before the Memorial Day weekend, and then we, which is, for those of you not in the United States, it's like the end of May, and we didn't come back till after Labor Day, which was like the end of the first week of September, and I think, I think I was pretty good educated, you know? <laughs> Oh, Didn't Jack. Didn't your head or anything, did it? <laughs> no. Joanne says, happy ninth birthday to you, Jack. So, so Saturday we'll have the Jack show, thanks. and Monday we'll have the Dave show. So it'll just be the Jack birthday show? Uh-huh. We don't know when yet. It'll just and be And then Monday random... we'll have the Dave birthday show. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Monday's going to be what show? What? The Dave birthday show. No, I am not doing a birthday show. I want a quiet birthday. You do? You uh, don't want a quiet birthday. I you want, want all your loudness. fans. I don't want all this. You want all your fans to screen. say hi and and give you like ten cent super chats, <laughs> <laughs> just so you can well, see all those colored things on I the mean, screen. I mean, I guess so. What? Cassidy but says we're coming from. Quiet birthdays are the best. For for the meetup, Cassidy Who? says we're coming from Texas, camping at Saint Brandon. Oh yeah. Saint Brandon's like me. three miles yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. Oh good. Were you able to get in? Good. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right by our house, actually. Where in Texas did she? She didn't say. That's, I didn't know that's where she was coming from because uh, she just said they were coming. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Although we've only got like seven people saying they're coming, so it may be a very close meetup. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, our experience with meetups has has been the first one was really good. We but we. We had it locally, and we announced it way ahead of time, but a lot of them we haven't announced that far ahead. Oh, Cassidy's never been to the mountains. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Wow. Shoot, we're going to have to take everybody up to the mountains with us. I was going to say, we're going to have to get a real big vehicle. <laughs> well, we could take two or three cars, but... Yeah, but we have park passes, too. What we need to do is rent a giant bus and come in and say, here's my park pass. <laughs> uh... Denise, Tara needs to stop eating all the fruit or she's going to be testing the toilet paper from the show. Ah! <laughs> the great toilet paper test of 2018. Uh, Live from Tara's bathroom. <laughs> oh, Lisa says, my birthday is the 10th, my anniversary is the 9th. Yay. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, do we sing happy birthday to Lisa real quick since we won't be on there? Right. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Lisa. Lisa. Oh, oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yay. Woo! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Donna says bottomless cheeseburger rolls for the Dave birthday show. Oh. Keep them coming. How's that sound, <gasps> Dave? All the cheeseburger rolls you can eat. Whoa. No, I'd rather get some of BJ's. Pizza. Tour it says in Norway the Order summer holiday is from June twenty third to to August fifteenth. Wow. That doesn't seem very long. But... Actually I have to say, as a parent, I now believe in all year school. What? I do. I mean, seriously for three months? What are they supposed to do for three months? 
And yeah, three no, weeks, if that. they broke it up between, had had three weeks four times a year, people could go on vacation and spread it out more. Oh, now MK Lone Star wants to know, is Jack's birthday party going to be, our birthday show, going to be live on YouTube and Facebook? I don't know. Should, Should we, do we do YouTube both? and Facebook? I don't care. Or just YouTube or just Facebook. We can do both. We can probably do both. <laughs> yeah. Bandana Whoa. says Mix last day at school is June fifteenth. Then he's retired. Yeah. Yay. I didn't know he was working at a school. Oops. I guess yeah. I should have paid attention to that. Yeah. He's a teacher. He's a coach. Huh? Yes, Amy. It's yes, it's warming right. up here. It's been in the mid nineties, mm -hmm. which is I don't know what that translates to in Celsius, but it's hot. <laughs> Although when we were in Kansas, it was really humid and hot. And one of the days it was ninety seven or something like that. Yep. In Kansas. And the humidity there makes it feel a whole lot hotter yeah, than Colorado. It does. So, uh, you're getting lots of birthday wishes, guys. You'll have to go and look through the comments later. All right, guys, we're going to go. We're going to eat some dinner, <clears throat> clean up. Don't forget, if you want to check out my soap, go to show notes. It's in the Etsy link. The Father's Day soaps will get there in time if you want them. Um, uh, you can order probably until next wait, Monday or Tuesday. Where's the Etsy link? Uh, Etsy, Etsy, there. okay. Also, our friends Going Batty are live now on YouTube, and I just shared a link for it, and I'll share it again before we're done. But if you haven't seen Going Batty, yeah. you might, and you want to hang out and <laughs> participate yeah. in another show, that's Everyone a great one. Everyone wants to know, will there be cake for the birthday show? No, there's going to be funnel cakes. Jack requested oh. funnel cakes funnel for cakes. his birthday And Dave cake. requested donuts and pizza. And Dave wants donuts and pizza. Can I have one or the other, can I, I don't care. Can I have funnel cake and pizza? <laughs> Possibly. Well, <laughs> like donuts as like in Krispy Kreme specifically. Yep. Yeah. All right, All right. guys. We'll Bye. see Have you later. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. See you later. Livianadime.com. So I look for the last comments. Oh, I killed it. <laughs>